Ed, I had this conversation with somebody last night. You know, speak up. <laughs> it's a, it's more so about approaching every show, you know, with a level head. Um, you know, and not really, you know, still trying to give the same performance like that you give. You know, if you're playing to 10 people or 100 people or 500 people, you know, they, the people that are there paid to see the show regardless of how many people are there. So you can't really, you kind of have to, you know, treat it like it's almost like every performance like a vacuum. And naturally, when there's like a larger crowd, you know, there's more energy and there's like, you know, there's a lot of like play back and forth because we are like a band that interacts with the crowd a lot and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I, I would I would say, you know, a successful performance for me is, you know, you know, playing, you know, it's it's more than now at this point than playing all the parts, right? I mean, like, that used to be the way I used to look at it. Uh, now it's just more so a successful performance is when there's growth, you know, musically, um, and, you know, as a band, I mean, that's what's been great. Like, a lot of our growth, because when we, when we first started playing together, you know, we were kind of just thrown into it, and we just had to play, and we just had to play, and you know, we didn't really have any rehearsals, and we still don't really rehearse that much unless until we get back into the writing process because we just play so much. But um, you know, yeah. So a successful performance is just really based on you know, you know, trying to treat every show like it's the same, regardless of how many people are there. And like I said, you know, obviously we don't live in a vacuum, so it's very hard to do that, but, you know, approach that with a level mindset and give the 10 people that you paid to see the show the best show that you can, give the 100 people that paid the best show that you can.